It's your boy JC from Hardcore Boxing News. I'd like to say I am back from Lost Wages. And man, it was a crazy week out at Las Vegas. I mean, I've been to Vegas many a times, but I've never seen Vegas that full. Only one time it was that full. It was when they had All-Star Week in there, and uh, it was just crazy. I mean, if you know how big MGM is, MGM is considered the second or third largest uh, casino in the world. Well, every inch of space was actually being utilized this weekend. But let's get to the fight. Man. The four cards, the four fights on the card. Uh, the first one was uh, Thea Payne against Kano. And uh, that particular fight was a pretty good fight. They went back and forth. They gave it to Kano. I can agree with that. The next fight was Ishe Smith against Carlos Molina. And that particular fight was a pretty good fight. It, well, let me, let me get on this. It was kind of boring. It, it was kind of boring. But they gave it to uh, Carlos Molina. Me personally, I think Ishe Smith won that particular fight. But the reason I think the reason why he lost the fight is because Ishe is such a safe fighter. You know, he's too safe. He won't let his hands go when he got his opponent hurt. And he's just too cautious. And Molina, he was just coming forward. He wanted it. He had that Mexican pride. He had that bulldog man mentality and he kept coming and I guess by him just being more active in the fight they gave it to him me personally I think Ishe had it by at least two rounds but that's why I'm not a judge next fight oh man Danny Garcia against Lucas the Machine Matisse man oh man I don't know if you all seen my uh, tape recently before this one and I talked about this particular fight prior to it happening. I was telling people, you know what? Danny Garcia can box. He can truly box. And I thought that that would be enough, you know, to win this fight. At the last minute, I got up in my head unsupervised the night of the fight. I'm talking 10 minutes before Danny fought. And my buddy Corey, like I always talk about, he sends me a uh, text saying, you got to make your decision who you got. And I said, I got Matisse. And reason why is, I went into my head unsupervised, and I remember when he fought Zab Judah. And at the end of the fight, Judah started coming at him. Judah caught him with a nice punch. He rocked uh, Danny. And I said, well, if Judah can rock his world, I know Lucas Matisse will eventually catch him with one of those blows and end his night. <laughs> Not so. Danny put on a clinic that night. I mean, he was going to his body. Then he'd go back upstairs. He was moving. I mean, he was doing everything perfect. He was showing us a complete expedition. I mean, it, it was just beautiful. So, you know... Thumbs up for Danny. He really did his thing. Next, Mayweather and Canelo. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy environment at that particular time. I mean, you could hear the Mexican fans going, Canelo, 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 and Mexico, Mexico. And then over here you got USA, Mexico, USA, Mexico. Oh, man, it was a battle of nations, man. Uh, it, it was crazy. But it got quiet in there. I mean, it was like 90% uh, Mexicans and like 10% other, you know. So it, it was definitely noisy. But uh, other than that, it was a pretty good fight. Uh, oh, well, pretty good uh, environment. The fight was great. Floyd Mayweather is who Floyd Mayweather is. He's a beautiful boxer. And he showed us why he is the champ. Floyd went in there and did a clinic as well. He picked Canelo apart. I mean, Canelo did not have a chance. 
I mean, every time he thought that he could do something, Floyd just was too fast, too smart. I mean, he had Canelo punching at people that wasn't even there. Canelo even hit the rope one time. I mean, he every time Floyd threw a punch, he was gone. Canelo could not find him. He could not find him. He said that he could adapt to anything. Canelo, I'm speaking about now. He could not adapt to Floyd Mayweather's speed. A 36-year-old man's speed was faster than a 23-year-old man's speed. It was a beautiful fight. Floyd, to me, personally, won all 12 rounds. C.J. Ross, I don't know what that woman seen. I mean, I'm speechless over that. I, I, I ain't got a clue. I didn't have a clue. Me, personally, I left at the 11th round because I had an 11.35 flight I had to take back, you know, back across the uh, way, you know, so I had to get back to Maryland. So I left on the 11th round. I went outside. It was a crowd going down. It was like a catwalk, and I started hollering, Mayweather, Mayweather, Mayweather beat Canelo up, and it was like 90,000 Mexicans right there. And they started going, Canelo, Canelo. And I thought they were going to beat me up, actually, because I'm going to tell you, it was plenty of them. You know what I mean? I'm hollering, Mayweather beat Canelo up. So th that was funny. <laughs> but uh, who can beat Floyd? Nobody. Who are they going to get to fight Floyd next? I ain't got a clue. They're talking Danny. Yeah, Danny's good. But Guerrero was good, too. And I think that's exactly how Floyd would beat him. I think Danny has a problem with speed. If you can think about it, when he was fighting Amir Khan, Amir Khan had him beat to the, you know, up into the fourth round. Then he chin checked him. And we all know that uh, Amir Khan is Glass Joe. He has a glass chin, and all you got to do is, and it's done. So, you know, Amir Khan, he got speed, but he ain't going to be able to catch Floyd. Danny, he's a good boxer, but Floyd's a great boxer. Even Bernard Hopkins threw his hat into it. Talking about he's a master chessman, and uh, Floyd's a master chess person, so they would have to get in the ring. He could meet him at 160. Floyd can't even make 152. You know, he woke up the day of the fight at 146. How does he look going to 160, ready to fight somebody that just came from 180, 190, light heavyweight? I mean, who else y'all want Floyd to fight next? I mean, come on now. The Klitschko's? Deontay Wilder? Huh? Ward? Come on now. The guy weighs 147. He need to be fighting 140. I mean, you all are getting ridiculous and ridiculous and ridiculous talking about Floyd should fight this person. Floyd should fight this person. If he want to be great, he should fight. He will never be great now. He will not be great until the, he don't box anymore. And then you'll say he's great. That's how it works. You have to be finished or dead. And then you're great. Other than that, you won't admit to it. That's just the bottom line. He's definitely the greatest of this era. And then there's always this one question. Who will win between Floyd Mayweather? You know who I'm about to say. Sugar Ray Leonard. I tell you what. If you put a 36-year-old Mayweather in there and a 36-year-old Sugar Ray Leonard in there, I put all my money and my house on Mayweather because he will win. I'm sorry. Just just the bottom line. 36-year-old Ray Leonard couldn't beat a 36-year-old Mayweather. He gets better in time. He's like a fine wine. I know y'all going to say, hey, I'm a Mayweather boy and this, that, and other. I don't even care about all that. I call it as I see it. The guy's good. The guy's great. And that's the bottom line. And he shouldn't have to fight a Klitschko to prove it. This is JC from Hardcore Boxing. Straight out the basement. Holla at your boy. <laughs>